What is the best real estate advice you've heard? Buy low, sell high, location, location, all great advice, right? Where are you getting the information from? I bet you 10 bucks everybody's Googling right now about the real estate market. So I wanna just make sure that I'm providing you the correct, correct information because as we know, headlines do way more to terrify than to clarify. So I'm gonna dive in real quick, share my screen, and we are going to get to a quick conversation about, is this like the last time? Are we heading to a, another housing bubble? When we look at Google and how, how their searches are ranking right now, and what are, what is everybody searching regarding the real estate market? So a couple of things here. When we jump down to when is the housing market going to crash? That is one of the questions that has been on Google and it has spiked 2,450% in the last month. Another question, why is the market so hot? That search has doubled in just a week. And another question, how much over asking price should I offer on a home 2021? Jumped 350% in that same week. Here's some, a few headlines. The housing market is crazier than it's been since 2006 by the Wall Street Journal. Are we trapped in another housing bubble? A rapid rise in home prices has some experts worried by USA Today. The typical American house price keeps hitting record highs. Redfin says the rise is, quote, concerning. Okay, so here I just want to show you some graphs because I feel like this is the tell all. You can see that 2002 to 2005, this was leading up to our crash. Then if you look at 2017 to 2020, where we are now, well, 2021 is where we are now, but this is leading up to 2021. You can see that the average annual appreciation is quite different, 6.3 for to the last couple of years versus 10.3% that led up to the crash. Here we are showing that people actually have to qualify for the mortgage to have one. They don't just need to fog a mirror anymore as they did leading up to the crash in 2007. Um, default risk in the mortgage market, 1999 to 2020. You're gonna see in the red product risk versus the borrower risk and the reasonable lending standard is in the dotted yellow lines. So if you look at 2015 to 2020, we're not seeing red. Months of inventory of existing single family homes for sale. So 2004 to 2007, although the, the, inventory, the inventory increased, the value still increased, or the, per, um, the price of homes increased. So 2017 to 2020, our inventory is decreasing, which is causing our homes to increase in price. So completely different situations. It was 2004 to 2007 was ridiculous. 2017 to 2020 is kind of really hard for us right now, but this is actually a driven price increase because of the inventory, as opposed to previously when the inventory went up and prices still went up, completely different. Okay, so I'm going to jump out of here. And I just want to end on a few notes with you that um, I hope you definitely Google and see what's happening, but don't forget to reach out to me and ask what is actually happening in the real estate market? How is How are my buyers and sellers getting along with it? And what should you think um, would be a good fit for you? So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to sit down and discuss your options and um, make sure that we get you on the right path and that you have the right information so that you can make the most educational decision with your finances and the most expensive transaction that you probably will make is your home. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I look forward to speaking to you.